Hello, everybody, Devrix here, back with another video. Today, we're reviewing the Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising Dragon Power Spinners. This is the wave one of the gimmick sets for Ninjago Dragons Rising. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so starting off with Lloyd's Spinner, it's, it's very simple, it's a very simple build. But you do get this new piece for the whole base. Like, this whole piece, the whole base that holds all of these energy cores is one piece. Then you just build on top of it with these Ninjago ZX, uh, ZX blade pieces and more sloping and more chi slopes. Then you have these dragon energy cores and a very nice metallic green. Not metallic green, but like a translucent green. We'll go over to minifigure later. But yeah, and what you, basically what you do with this set is that you spin it. And it spins really, really well. I have to say, it really spins really well. Okay, next. Next up we have is Nia, same concept as Lloyd, except she's built a little bit differently. Instead of, you know, these being on the side and having angle pieces, you have a little slope right here so you can drift it. Sorry about that cut, but you also have water on the sides. That go up when you, like, we can put some up and down depending on what you want. You have these dragon energy cores that was used on Zane's dragon power car. As I was saying, you have a little piece down here for Nia's Dragon Power Drift where you have an underslope and you have another slope, uh, you know, like one of those newer slopes up here. Plates to build up the sides. And then two golden blade pieces with the, with the water. And the opalescent blue ball pieces. Alright, so what do you do with this is that you push this down and it drifts. That's basically all it does. Alright, next off we have here is Kai's Dragon Power Flip. All of this is is just made of like slopes. Same thing as the other ones, just slope pieces and stud pieces and ingots this time. And it does stay on quite well, but it's not too too strong. But it does feel quite nice. You have the orange dragon energy cores. I think these are exclusive to this set. But basically for the function of the set, I will be reviewing the minifigures last. For the function of the set, you can flip it, flip it. You can slightly spin, but not a whole lot. Like these functions are quite minimalistic, I'd say. Here are the Imperium drones that come in the set. We have Kai's, Nia's, and Lloyd's. Or these might be swept, swapped, but like. Kai's, Nia's, and Lloyd's. So Kai's is just a generic build, honestly. It's just a, it's, I don't know what, I don't think it's just, yeah, it is a two Travis bricks. Two Travis bricks with some, you know, pillars and stuff like that to make it up, to build it up. Then for the spear, you have the gold pieces with the orange, orange round stud on top. And you have orange eyes on all three of these. This one you have blades and it has a bottom. This one's blades, it has gray. This one is, you know, it just has the ZX blades. And the Nia's is just this one with the, with the white bottom and the claws. Nothing much, they're quite simple builds and they're good for the army building, but they're pretty mid I would say. I don't think these have been in shown in the show yet, but it still looks quite nice. Here are the accessories that come in the set. You get fire, water, and a green ener golden energy spike. You have a water trident and a green shuriken, which is odd for Lloyd because Lloyd doesn't use shurikens. He uses he usually uses like a sword. But these are gimmick sets that we're not supposed to be matching, I guess. But yeah. I should mention that Kai comes with gold, his energy blast pieces from Lego Ninjago, not Lego Ninjago, Lego Super Heroes, and what you can do is like touch these and it'll fling off. It's one, and we have the other one, which can fling off too. But yeah, in a nutshell, that's all the accessories that came in the set. Alright, so here is Lloyd's Dragon Energy Spin gimmick. All you do is like spin this and it's supposed to hit it basically and it knocks it over. Alright, for Nia's, it's the same build as Lloyd's, except what you do is you click this bottom button right here, and you're supposed to drift it, and it's supposed to knock studs out, knock this out, and studs are supposed to come out too. 
this is supposed to come out and the studs are supposed to come out. I didn't put the studs in here because I, I didn't want to lose them. Here is the Dragon Energy Core. What you're supposed to do with Kai is what you're supposed to do is flip this. And you're supposed to knock it down if it works. But like, you're supposed to flip it and this comes down. And basically, these are really finicky. So like, all you, what you get in the set are these Golden Dragon Energy Cores. These are not exclusive. These all come in the free sets. But yeah, let's get on to the minifigures now. All the things that you all have been waiting for. Alright, so starting off with Lloyd. As you can see here, on his whole... His whole... Everything on him is the exact same, except for a torso from his average Dragon Rising set. Dragon's Rising sets. Head print and ting is the same, except for the hood piece. You do have very nice printing right here. Oh my fucking god. Sorry about it, y'all. I had another interruption, but like... Here is Lloyd. He has a brand new hood hip hood print with the upper hood print is a new print. The head piece is exactly the same on all the Dragons Rising figures, on the Lloyd figures, and you have the L symbol right there for Lego and Jaga Lloyd with all the energy sparking through. I'm not gonna take this off because it's a real risk because these arms are transparent, translucent plastic is known to break. But you do have the dragon with the energy core in green with all this samurai-ish armor around it and a green belt and some dark green sashes which looks quite nice i'm not going to go over this too much because it's just like a torso and a head print i do like this writing on here and i do like the dragon on the torso all right next off we have here is nia master of water we have okay so her she, i have not reviewed her yet but i will review her once i get the four plus set so Basically, her torso is gunmetal gray with the, you know, water pad, water, water, water seeping through with dragon energy cores, translucent blue arms, a Nia symbol on the back, made with silver, really shiny silver too, I really like that. She has water on her top print, on her top helmet print, and she has two faces, one with a very, very, um, confident smile, and this one's just an angry face with the visor, water visor. Which looks quite quite nice I must say I really do like how this looks and I cannot wait to try this out on Prime Empire sets minifigures once I get you know more of these face prints all right so same deal with Kaiwa is with all the uppers basically what you see is what you get this is basically two new prints kind of like the Spinjits and Masters to a degree but except there's a little bit more you know thought into this but basically you have fire going around all around him you have translucent orange arms the gold and the gold and a dark red in the back for Kai's symbol and flames all around the back with the sashes and this torso print has some silver with a flaming dragon and fire all around it and you have some fire energy up here then I went over legs you have dark red sashes and all that with the feet to feet printing and you have two new molds for the for a headpiece and then the, you know, mask piece, ma mask armor combo, which I will say, kind of disappointed that you can't really, they should have just made a mask as a separate piece, honestly, or something like that, or made the head and mask together and then keep the armor separately. But what can you do, honestly? But like, let's get on to conclusion ratings. All right, everyone, I'll thank you all so much for watching. Sorry about I reviewed this one first instead of the, you know, like, Sora's mech bike. I know people want to see my thoughts and ratings on that. But y'all are going to have to give me a little bit of time. I've been quite busy, and this one was easy and simple. I'll probably pre-record it eventually. It's just, I'm not sure when. I've been like, you know... My FNAF fans are relentless at times, but like other than that, I will say this is these are pretty solid. I would say I wouldn't say they're the best gimmick sets, but also they're not the you know like worst. I'd say in the they're in the mid tier, probably like six, five, six out of ten. They're not garbage like you know the Beyblade ripoffs from Lego, like with the Spinjitzu, Spinjitzu Masters. The Dragon Masters were quite cool, but the Spinjitzu Masters were god awful. So I'd say that's in the mix between Dragon Masters and the Legacy Spinner tier. But not as good because they're focusing on gimmicks like the Spinjitzu Masters. 
But other than that, I don't think you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.